All right, let's practice multiplying three or more numbers. Okay, NASA's Kepler telescope searches for new planets. Kepler searches three solar systems per day and finds three new planets in each system. How many planets will Kepler find if it searches for two days? So what three numbers am I multiplying here? I have three times three times two. Now here's the deal. Nobody said you had to multiply everything all at once. In fact, a good strategy would be to break it into smaller problems to avoid making any mistakes. So what I would multiply first is three times three. Three times three is nine. And then I bring down my two because it's easy for me to multiply by two. Nine times two equals what? 18. So there should be 18 planets found in two days. Next one, a beehive has two types of bees and it maintains a steady population of two of each type of bee. If a beekeeper has three beehives, how many bees are there in total? So what am I multiplying? Two types of bees, okay, with two of each bee in three beehives, okay? So I can multiply in any order that I want, okay? I like to end by multiplying with a two, so I'm gonna do two times three first. Two times three equals six, and then I'm just gonna bring down this two. So what is two times six? 12. So there should be a total of 12 bees. Next one. When Owen makes three pies, he always cuts them into two slices and each slice into three pieces. How many pieces will he have to serve at the end of all the cuttings? Okay, so what is my multiplication problem here? I have three times two times three. Okay, what do I want to multiply first? For me, I like to end by multiplying with a two because it's easy to do in my head. So if I do three and three first, three times three is nine, and then I bring down my times two. So nine times two is 18. So you would have 18 total pieces. Now, Let's say you would have preferred to do it like this. Three times two times three. I could do it like this. Three times two is six, and six times three still equals 18, okay? So just because I'm solving it one way does not mean there's not another way to solve it. As long as you can prove your answer, that's what matters here. Okay, a beehive has three types of bees and has a Population of two of each bee type. If a beekeeper has two beehives, how many bees are there in all? Okay, so we have three types of bees and a steady population of two of each type multiplied by two beehives. Okay, I'm going to do three times two, which is six, and then I'm gonna bring down my times the other two, so six times two equals 12. So there should be 12 B types. Bands release an, three albums a year. So there's three albums a year. Each album has two songs on it. If a band has been active for two years, how many songs have they released? So what is my multiplication problem here? There's three albums every year. And each album has two songs on it. So if they've been doing this for two years, how many total songs do they have? Again, I like ending with a two. So three times two is six. And then I bring it down. And six times two is 12. So that means they have released 12 songs. Next one. 
Omelets are the perfect dinner party food. Ethan has three guests. Each guest wants three omelets. That's a lot of eggs. If each omelet contains two eggs, how many eggs must Ethan have in his fridge to feed all of his dinner guests? Okay, so he has, I need some space for this, he has three friends, three guests, multiplied by three omelets for each person, multiplied by two eggs for every omelet. So I have three times three times two. Three times three is nine, and then I'm bringing down that two. Nine times two equals 18. So he's going to need 18 eggs to make those omelets. Next, when Luke makes three pies, he always cuts them into two slices and each slice into two pieces. How many pieces will he have to serve at the end of all that cutting? Okay, how many total pies? Three. How many slices? Two. And each slice is cut into two pieces. So I have three times two times two. Three times two equals six. Bring down my other two. Six times two equals 12. So he will have 12 total pieces. Next one. Bands release three albums a year, and each album has three songs. If a band has been active for three years, how many songs have they released? So it's three albums a year with three songs on each for three years time. Okay, so three times three is nine, and then what's nine times three? Nine times three is 27. So they have released 27 songs. Next one. Omelets are the perfect dinner party food. If Daniel has three guests, each friend wants three omelets, and each omelet contains two eggs, how many guests, how many eggs must Daniel have in his fridge to feed all of his dinner guests? We've done this already. How many guests? Three. How many omelets do they each want? Three. How many omelets? How many eggs for each omelet? Two. So three times three is nine, and I multiply that by two, I bring that two down. Nine times two is 18. So he needs 18 eggs. Let's do one more. When Dylan makes three pies, he always cuts them into three slices. Okay, so he has three pies, he cuts them into three slices, and each slice into three pieces. How many pieces will he have to serve at the end of all that cutting? Okay, so he has three total pies, cuts them into three slices, and each of those slices he cuts into three pieces. So three times three is? Nine, bring down that extra three. Nine times three equals 27. So he has 27 pieces. Way to go with all that multiplying.